close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Watch out for any distractions that might pull you away. For the time being, anything that's not related to the breath you don't want, you just let it go, let it go. The problem is the mind keeps going out looking for trouble. We've got the germs of greed, aversion, and delusion inside us, and they're all too happy to find something, latch onto something, and then they take over. It's like our body. The body has lots of germs inside, and as long as our resistance is up, the germs don't cause any trouble. But when our resistance is too weak, then the germs take over. So we have to learn how to build some resistance in the mind. So when greed comes, we don't, we don't go along with it. When anger comes, we don't go along with it. We have to remind ourselves that these things may have their allure, they may be attractive, so, but they also have their big drawbacks. And you have to use that discernment to remind yourself and you need, that this is the problem. And of course that requires mindfulness to keep these things in mind, because it's so easy to forget. You're just going around doing nothing in particular, and all of a sudden the mind decides it wants to have a little anger, and decides it wants to have a little greed, or a little lust. And we just jump on and go with it, without really realizing what we're doing. So you have to be alert, you have to be mindful. You need to use your discernment. These are the qualities we develop as we meditate. To stay with the breath, you have to keep remembering each time you breathe in, stay with the breath. Don't forget and go wandering after something that looks attractive. You have to be alert to watch what's going on in the mind, watch what's going on in the breath. And you need to use your discernment so that when something comes along and looks attractive, you have to remind yourself it's not necessarily as good as it, good as it looks. It's like that movie they had, I think it was Ice Age 2, the characters are floating through the fog, or floating on the water through the fog, and all of a sudden they come across some mermaids and mermen, and they look very attractive. And the characters in the boat get kind of pulled in, pulled in to the attraction. But then you look very carefully and you see and there's static in the image, and in, in the static you see pictures of fish with big fangs. And once you see there are fangs there, then you say, no, this is nothing I want to get involved with. The Buddha has an image. It's like a, a good-looking drink, a tasty drink. It's served in a nice cup, but it's got poison in it. You have to remind yourself there's poison in it. When you, once you realize that, then you wouldn't want to touch it, no matter how attractive it may look. So it's the same with greed, aversion, and delusion. These things are attractive, but they have their poison. They have their germs, and they take over, and they can really make the mind sick. Because a healthy mind knows what causes suffering, knows what causes happiness, and avoids the causes for suffering and develops the causes for happiness. It's a sick mind that keeps going after the causes for suffering. So try to look after the health of your mind. Everybody's afraid of germs spreading around this time of year. But you really got to look out, to look out for the germs of greed, aversion, and delusion. Other people have their germs, you have your germs. When they get together, they can overcome your resistance. Learn to keep your resistance up so that even when other people come with anger or come with greed or with fear, you don't have to pick up their diseases. You can resist it. And that way you maintain the health of your mind. You keep on doing things that lead to happiness, both for yourself and for other beings. That's when the mind is really healthy and strong.